Okay, now that we have a an ad account and a page associated with this brand new business account, what we need to do now is we need to finish setting up our business information. Essentially, uh, one of the main steps here is we've got to assign this page as our primary page. We've got to do that before we can go in and request access to someone else's ad account if we're going to be running ads for someone else. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. The reason for that is because uh, Facebook needs to know whose page is the primary on this. Is it your page or is it someone else's page? Uh, and then also it will make it a little bit more clear to someone else when you go to make that request on their side. Because I don't know if you can really see this. It's kind of hard to see. But off to the left, there's like this weird little white briefcase in behind a, uh, a circular uh, logo with a gray background. And it's... Yeah, that's kind of like your logo for this business. So it's very generic. And once you add your business page in uh, as the primary for your uh, account here, whenever you go to make a request for someone else's ad account, they're going to see your logo. And it's going to be easier for them to understand, okay, I'm getting this request. It looks legit because it's coming from uh, this particular business. I've already seen their logo before. Now, again, I keep mentioning that um, whenever you set up your account, you might want to set one up for your own business. Uh, but then also, if you're doing marketing for someone else when you're doing their ads, you'll want to set up your own marketing uh, account in here as well. And th that would have a, a separate logo. Because if if you were to, to send this over to someone else, they might wonder why am I getting this random picture of a uh, of a guy hanging off of a window, which is kind of hard to see. But that's my my main logo or image on this Framingham window cleaning business page that I had set up the other day. But for a uh, an actual marketing agency, it would have like a, a little logo showing up under here. So let's go ahead and click in. This is going to make more sense once I click, um, once I go to click into business info here and set up the primary page. So as you can see up here at the top, there's that little briefcase that I mentioned before. And it says primary page, none. So let's go ahead and edit this real quick. Let's pick that Framingham window cleaning uh, as the, the business here. And then this is where we can actually uh, set in. Let's put in here Framingham window cleaning. So let's add that in. And then we could we could actually put in uh, a logo in here. So let's go ahead and choose file. And you know what? I'm going to do a quick search out here. Window cleaning. Images. Uh, let's just go with this one right here. Okay, so I would normally add in an actual logo instead of some random picture of uh, a guy that's cleaning windows, but I just wanted to show you really quickly how this is done. So let's navigate to where that was out on the desktop. Uh, let's see. All files. And let's see here. Okay, let's go ahead and add in this image real quick here. Again, you'd want to use a logo. If you don't have a logo, you can make one really quickly in canva.com. That's C-A-N-V-A dot com. You want to have something that looks pretty professional and not like what I'm using here for this, this random picture of a, a window cleaner. Okay, perfect. So we've got that set up now. There's a couple other details here on the business info, info page that I think you should set up too. You'd want to put in your legal name of your business, the address, business phone, your website, and your tax ID. Uh, your tax ID would be your EIN number. Uh, you can click through the edit option here to add in that information. I'm not going to do any of that right now. 
once you get this all added in and once you set up two-factor authentication uh, on your biz on your business manager which i highly suggest doing once you get both of those set up then you can uh, use this option over here to verify your business now this is actually something that a lot of people overlook whenever they're setting up their business manager but i highly suggest verifying your business uh, that way you're less likely to run into issues later on when you're running ads facebook uses a lot of artificial intelligence and sometimes uh, that art artificial intelligence will fail so the, the more you can do to keep your business uh, account more compliant all the better so i would definitely fill out this information set up two-factor authentication that way you can set up verification even if you choose not to verify your business manager I highly suggest setting up two-factor authentication to keep hackers from hacking into your business uh, manager account. And then you've got this option over here to turn on or off pages and notifications. Uh, this can get kind of annoying for you if, uh, if you get a lot of notifications. Uh, you can always control that on your mobile device too to try to turn off or limit those notifications. Uh, but I would suggest, at least for now, keeping pages and notifications on. That way you can... Uh, see what's going on with your page with your ads and so forth and get accustomed to it and then if it gets to be too annoying shut it off later but for right now while you're still learning things it's best to at least know what's going on um, i kind of skipped over this option over here this is business history this is where you can export a history of your uh, like the the decisions you've taken in terms of setting up your account uh, i've never actually done that but you could do that if you want to Right now, there's just a, a limit of how many ad accounts we can add, which is one. Um, in time, I can add perhaps up to, to five different uh, ad accounts in here. They change this all the time. When you're starting out with a new business manager, it's going to be limited to one. Uh, once you verify this, I think it should jump up to five. And then your info, this just tells you the, the name of the account. And we set that business manager account up in a previous video and then the email that we used. And once again, here is also a toggle switch for turning on and off pages and notifications uh, for your account all right guys that's all for this video in terms of setting up the business info section of business settings thanks